Marshall good. Try to use an inside out move to get past LaMarche. Got a shot off from inside, but pumped it wide to the target. Now the Jackals on the counter. Pass far side. Coger Walters scores! Dane Walters beats Jordan Bennington five hole and ties the game on Elmira's first shot of the night. One apiece as we have some post whistle extracurriculars. Taylor and Petrus are going at it. They've dropped the gloves and David Pecan had LaMarche wrangled up. Petrus with some uppercuts to Justin Taylor. And now a right that lands on Taylor's ear. Taylor with an uppercut of his own as they slow the pace down a little bit at the blue line. The linesmen are looking for their spot to step in. Not many punches being thrown right now. Petrus got his right hand free, sent a glancing blow on. Taylor really hasn't thrown many punches in this scrap. Petrus with a flurry of rights, none really landing. Now he puts Taylor in a headlock and took his helmet off. They've got each other bear hugged now, and that will bring the fight to a halt. So, well, even though the period clock expired, the teams weren't done entertaining the fans at wing as the stadium tonight. Walters is out to take the draw. On the near wing side, he's tied up, but now digs the puck loose. Back to the point for Harry Young. Fires off a slap shot and scores! Harry Young scores! It was just as the penalty had expired. He almost made a fool out of me, but it will go into the books as an even strength goal and gives the Jackals their first lead at 2 to 1 behind the net. With that, Ron Bellamy exits the box and the Jackals improve to 2 for 2 on the penalty kill tonight. Kalamazoo managed two shots on that advantage. Here though at full strength, Cloutier, a shot from the slot and a good save by Grenham. A whistle. And now we got a fight breaking out after the stoppage. Jean Bourbeau and Ryan Del Monte have dropped the mitts. Del Monte got a right in, now Bourbeau feeding him with uppercuts. And now a right cross to his ear and that one staggered. Del Monte and Bourbeau takes him down. Del Monte tried to throw another right as he was getting back up from his knees. But a clean win there on the scrap for the Jackals captain, Jean Bourbeau. What concussion. First game back in the lineup after taking the illegal check to the head from Brett Fleming. Here, let's see what he tries to do. Sulek the lefty. Will he deke or will he shoot? Bennington comes way out to challenge. He's gonna have to deke. Sulek at the hash. Deeks to the backhand and he scores! Number 10 does an about face and picks up the puck. He's gonna come right up the middle with speed. Bennington out to challenge. Carlson shoots and scores! Boger gives chase, but retreating in time was Levier to take it, but he coughs it up to Walters high on the near wing. Walters barreling his way to the corner, gives it to Koger behind the net. Koger tried to go back to Walters, but Krug was there to intercept. Looking to clear, but it's held at the point by Pocklock in a shot that scores! Koger appeared to tip it as Pocklock launched it from the blue line and the Jackals tie it at one. Over to Bushy, doesn't have a lane, gives it to Koger on the half boards. Back to Bushy, cutting to the middle. Back to Koger, top of the near circle. Now over to Rutkowski. Wrist shot low and a stick save by Clemente. Rebound up for grabs behind the net. Now found by Rutkowski in the corner. Now to Petrus in the trapezoid. Brushed over to the near wing. Koger has it in tight. Didn't get a good shot up. He scores on the rebound. Daniel Koger with a power play goal. And the Jackals lead it 2-1. to one. Carlson could catch it. And now here come the Icemen 2-1-1 on one from the blue line in. Going down to take away the passing lane was Patch Alber. The shot was taken from the far side by Levier and Grenham was there for the pad save. Played with a hand pass so the Icemen couldn't touch it. And the Jackals run off some time in their own zone. Bushy chips it off the far wall and out. Demkov chasing it down, taps it back to Bushy away from the Iceman trap. Lamarche angles one off the far wall to Vascovu. Shoots for the empty net from center and he hits it. Mike Vascovu into the empty net. Ices the game with 25 seconds to go. Patch Alber there. Off the rush, Albert driving deep, trying to center, had it blocked, gets it back, sends it dribbling across the crease, comes to the slot for a rip by Vascovu. Had it blocked though, he gets it back in the near circle. Lamarche now at the point, as the Jackals surge here, Lamarche is shot into a maze of bodies, knocked down in front, and Vascovu scores the rebound! The Jackals lead it 1 to nothing with 10.25 left to go in the first period. Aaron with a hit on Bushy, the puck rolls free behind the cage, and Johnston pumps it up the far wall. And now with it, off the rush, Seidel, across for Lowry, attempt, it's patted away by Grenham. Puck up, but couldn't get it very deep into the Evansville zone. Meanwhile, Lauren Barron's pass missed Luke Oakley ahead of the play, and the Jackals have a chance to counter. Ludwig Carlson drops one to Rob Bellamy, cuts to the slot, shoots low, save made, Carlson scores the rebound! Tied it over to the near side and exit the zone. Hines ahead of four, Langlois crashing the net, a shot from in tight. Grenham stayed tight to the post to make the save as Pocklock was there keeping Langlois from getting a real good angle. 
They'll set it up side of the net, though, in front. Chris Green, Langlois duffed his shot. He was right there on the doorstep and couldn't finish. And now the Jackals with a two-on-one. Rutkowski with Walters. Walters with it, shoots and scores! Dane Walters gives the Jackals the lead, 3-2, with 4-14 left to go in the second period. Perry. Bellamy and Flanagan both got minor penalties from sportsmen like that's why we're playing four on four hockey right now. And the Jackals have a chance off the rush. Albert to Carlson and he scores! A give and go between Patch Albert and Ludwig Carlson. And Carlson drills home the one timer. Elmira leads it four to two with 1 to 58 left to go in the second period. Far corner board. Donnie Harris there. Tried to poke it away from Walters, but he gave it to Corey Bellamy and got it right back. Walters for Koger, a shot from the far circle, scores! Daniel Koger, and now we've got post whistles, rough stuff between Krug and Corey Bellamy. They've dropped him along the end wall. Corey Bellamy and Matt Krug. Krug with the right, Bellamy threw an uppercut as Krug was down on his knees, Bellamy with the takedown. Krug trying to get back up and answer back. But Bellamy with a wicked uppercut that caught Crew cleanly on the chin. And the linesman alertly stepped between those two to halt any more escalation. And Bellamy giving the fans a little business. The Evansville bench as well, dusting off his hands.